Hello everybody, welcome to another Clone Wars Adventures emulator video, and Merry Late Christmas and Happy New Year! We are in 2024, this is the very first official video for the new year. Are there going to be many new plans? I can't really say because, you know, working's been taken up six days of my week, so I really haven't had a lot of time making videos. But I figured for the end of the year, before this goes away, to document how beautiful uh, Corazon looks, or as we call it, Glitch City, on Clone Wars Adventures emulator. So we're going to do some exploration down here. We're just going to jump on some random building. And uh, I would use a more festive Christmas area, but this is the most festive I can think of. And I'd use the Tauntaun, but it doesn't really jump high enough and I'll end up falling. So we're just going to explore Glitch City's rooftops for about maybe a minute. A minute should be good. We get to see all the red and green colors, which I think is always beautiful to see. Now, it should be interesting to note that it's going to be probably another... What is it? Until next December before we see this again, so it's always good to document what we see. Yes, you see it every year, but it never gets old to see. Now, I'm kind of curious what will be added this year on Clone Wars Venture Emulator. Yes, they do provide a roadmap to all the alpha testers to what they're working on. They're kind of just doing a, their current big update. I mean, their big update is more so like a restructuring of how the game looks. And, of course, you know, fixing bugs and revitalizing some of the games. It's looking really good so far. Ooh, will we make this jump? I just barely made that. And I wonder what, what the streets look like under Glitch City here. Or, I don't know why I keep calling it that. I know it's Corazon, but it's Corazon. And now, what else can we talk about while we do some exploring? Uh, why have I not been too active? Well, as I said, with my work schedule, you know, I'm usually at home a little earlier, but then, you know, my mother's home, and then I don't need her uh, criticizing my video making, and it gets very old very quick, so I usually only do it when I'm alone. And now I'm probably going to go down to what city, so we're going to drop down, and I'm going to go on the festive Tauntaun to see what the streets look like. Alright, so here we are on the bottom of Glitch City on the festive Tauntaun, and once again, it looks very beautiful with all the green, red, and the yellow coloring, or goldish colors, or if you want to go more violet, pinkish color, that works too. Looks very nice down here. Now, I'm kind of wondering if they will do any custom ha Halloween or... What is the other one? Christmas content. Yes, it's the same content as last year and year before that, but... I thought maybe one of these years they'll make their own custom content, but I understand they're all busy and that the dev team is, you know, working and all. Because, you know, they all have real-life jobs and some of them even have families to take care of, so... And now I'm also curious if 4th of July this year will have the sparklers and all those cool pieces of gear that we had in the OG Clone Wars Adventures. It's very possible, but I'm not entirely sure. So I'll just do some more running around on the bottom here so you can see how beautiful it looks down here with all the lights. And uh, I wonder if there's going to be any interesting designs on the walls, like designs that look like something. Not really seeing anything that looks like a design. That that one here just looks like a lowercase d, which it probably is. Yeah, that looks like the number one. And I think uh, Skippy at a point found an interesting photo of an assortment of lights that looked like a uh, samurai. I will never be able to find that, but that was a very good find, Skippy, for watching this video. Shout out to you. And uh, other than that, there's not much else to talk about, so thank you all for watching this video, and goodbye.